Hi, I'm Linda Fossil with Biencom Real Estate in Akihi, Mexico. Today, we are in a most amazing place called Vista del Lago, which is in North Chapala. Mostly, we have been in the village. We've been in uh, downtown village, we've been in the east village, we've been in a gated community in the west village. But today, we're on the entire other side, North Chapala. So this community, Vista del Lago, which means in Espanol, views of the lake, is spectacular. And it is here, really it was built for two kinds of people. And that's what you have to decide. Are you one of those two kinds of people? The first person it was built for is the avid golfer. This has a magnificent nine course golf, nine hole golf course. That's very funny, right? Nine hole golf course, which is a three, four, and five car course, which uses golf carts. It even has four tees, so you know that it's for all levels of golfers. In fact, on the weekdays, there's a woman's day, a man's day, and a couple's day. And the semi-private country club, which no other golf course has here, is open to the public other than after those events. All right, so that's one type of person who's going to buy here. That is the avid golfer. You can take that golf cart, you can drive right onto one of the tees, and boom, tee off. But the other person that this entire beautiful Vista del Lago was made for is the artist, is the dreamer, is the writer, is the photographer, is the woodworker, is the person who uses their hands and their brains for art and they want silence and they want quiet and they want serenity and they want beauty and they want the vistas of the lake. So you have to decide if you're one of those two kinds of people because that's what this is for because it's actually a bit of ways away from the town. It's going to be about 20 minutes with traffic and I want you to understand that. But when you see this amazing house, number 27, on Linda Vista Street in Vista del Lago. And yes, Linda means beautiful in Spanish, and mm, that is my name. Oh, I won't take any, you know, any extra compliments. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just playing with you. Okay, so now we're in the living room, this expansive living room. Look at the ceilings. Vaulted, bovida ceiling with beautiful I-beams. These are iron I-beams every meter, every 39 inches. These houses are built like skyscrapers. I am forcing you not to look outside yet because it's too beautiful. I want you to enjoy this beautiful interior part of the house. Now, this fireplace was custom built by Tim. I wrote his name down. It's somebody I, I actually don't know. Oh, I don't know where it's at. I wrote it. But it's anyway, Tim Woodson, I believe. And it's really, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a material that I have a piece to show you that he um, laminated on the bricks of this with glass pieces, stained glass pieces throughout. It's a unique, it's a one of a kind. It's a signed piece of art with your beautiful gas fireplace and your elevated hearth. It's a very large, expansive room with these high, high ceilings. We're gonna head into the hallway which goes into the first guest bedroom. Come on. Again, I want, I want you to take a look at this, Orlando. Look at these ceilings. Again, high vaulted ceilings all through the house which gives us this amazing volume. So this guest room, although it is also used as an office, is extremely large. I mean, you don't have to have all of this. And it opens on to the beautiful fountain. If we're quiet, there. This is what you wake up to. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. And it's got everything in the house has these beautiful built-in wood closet doors all the way through. They're lovely. Uh, so we have these all the way through the house and that's an extra added benefit. Oh yeah, remember? We had solid wood doors in a couple of the other houses which are highly unusual even though I've had like three houses with them solid wood oak doors throughout. All right, I'll let you follow through. This is a long hallway surrounded by these, oh wait, stop, I forgot a bathroom, come on. 
We forgot the bathroom that goes with that bedroom. Let's not forget this. Because we have our shower, of course. High ceilings again. Always airflow, always mirrors. Let's have a look. Well, my hair could have been better today, but <laughs> say la vie. <laughs> All right, so you'll continue left down the hallway, past these beautiful wood doors. We don't need to open them again for you. And now we're heading into the master, past another solid wood door. Yes. And look at this room again. High, high ceilings. Now, is it possible to get a close-up of those bricks, Orlando? Because this brick treatment is called a whitewashed brick. We have two different treatments in the house. Three. Normal brick, whitewashed brick, and then we have the schmear brick, which I'm going to show you, which is in actually the kitchen, which is a German technique. So that's one of the many fireplaces. I think there are three or maybe even four in this house, which is amazing. You never need them. Honestly, you don't need them because our you don't even need that air conditioner split because we have such beautiful weather here. All right, but it's a huge, look at the size of the bed. It's huge. That's how big this bedroom is. And now, if you don't mind, I'll let you head into the bathroom. Take your time. We have some wonderful tile, some Argentinian porcelain tile, uh, an above counter sink with the faucets built into the wall, very uh, chic and modern, and a jacuzzi bathtub along with a separate shower and a bidet and toilet. I can't tell you how many people say, Linda, does the, ba does the bathroom have a bidet? Please, Orlando, show them. It does. <laughs> a really big walk-in closet. And now we're going to get, before we get to the kitchen and dining room, because we're right here, because off of the master, you have Vista del Lago, views of the lake. With a, there are two fountains, here's one, which is really unique. The water comes out of the tube with the hummingbird, and it's really quite lovely. Beautiful lighting, and then look at this. We'll sit right here, Orlando, and get, you can see the mountains all the way to the west. There are three islands you get to see from here. Through that palm tree, you can see the Presidio Island. And then look at these palms. We go straight up to the sky. Wow. Now, straight ahead is Duck Island. OK, no, they're not ducks on that island. And I have no idea why they named it Duck Island. But that's Duck Island. And further over, to the right of the palm tree you see and to the left of the giant palm tree is Scorpion Island. No, and it's not an island full of scorpions. And I, it's actually got the name. I do know how that got the name. Because if you look at the island from the sky, if you're flying over in an ultralight, which I'll be doing soon, you see it's shaped like a scorpion. Huh. So they named it that. So this beautiful living space, this outdoor living space, it's just I mean, really, it's so huge. And you have the covered outdoor living space. This has a very large house for 525,000 US dollars. It is unfurnished, but you can furnish it any way you wish. And I want, I want you to see something. If you come here, Orlando, you can look. Right in front of this, uh, you see where the fence is, the fence line, if you look down, you see the, the gardens. This is great for dogs and cats and so on. But that front piece, that has, um, it's 150 US dollars a square meter. Uh, it comes to about 125,000 US dollars to buy that lot. If I bought, you'd have first right of refusal if you buy this house. If I bought that, this house, I would buy that lot and I would put it, I would open all this up and I'd make an amazing garden. I'd make casitas. I'd have a separate entrance down below for my guests. I'd have a gorgeous pool. Why not? It's like 125,000. All right, so we have the solar hot water heater on the roof up there. And we have our covered terrace. And now, voila, you first, my dear. This is the dining room. It's a formal dining room. It's off of the kitchen. And if you look straight ahead at that brick, this is the other technique. This brick was painted black first. So the brick was painted black, and then they took what's really a drywall, a paste or a compound, and they do a schmear, and that is the right word, S-M-E-A-R, a schmear. Probably in German would have an H in there. 
and it is from Germany, the technique, and it's a thicker cover than the whitewashed in the bedroom. But it's a whole nother look because they have a lot of black and white that follows in this area and it made a very unique uh, treatment. Stained glass window, uh, hummingbirds were the theme of one of the previous owners and they are throughout the house, there are hummingbirds around. This in the kitchen is the most expensive solid countertop you can get which is called quartz, it's a quartz crystal countertop. And this is an art finished giant stainless steel hood, I have to say giant, and a subway tile in the back, of course, as you can see. Now look, if you don't like all white cabinets, and a lot of people don't, doesn't matter. I can have this whole place painted for you in any color. Well, you know, the sage green is really popular right now. The soft blues are really popular. Uh, there's a lot of popular colors, even the, the deep grays with a wax finish. We can have all that done for no more than $500, if, if that. And you can buy a nice stainless steel refrigerator. And this, of course, comes, and so does the dishwasher and the accoutrement, the appliances, convey. But if you don't like it, we can get you one, and they're not much money. All right, so now we're at, actually at the west end of the house, and we're going through a nice arch, and we're leading into the second half of the house. If we turn left, we have, this was the man's uh, outside den, okay, the man's room. Over here to the far right is a smoker, and then the regular barbecue to the left that you just saw. And this was this crazy with men cutting and chopping and doing their thing. And below is the bodega. And then of course, this was for all the outside eating. So you have some real character here. The ceiling is not just, just not a flat ceiling. It's a, again, it's a slanted, vaulted, bovida ceiling. High end, high class. Here is your pantry, and I wanna show you something that I just noticed myself. They have here, this is an ultra uh, system uh, with two filters and a blue light, just so the water in your refrigerator will be totally purified. But something you need to know about Vista del Lago is that all the water is drinkable out of the tap. All of it. So that's one of the advantages of being out here. But if you're the kind of person who says, well, I don't know if I trust that, there you go. Right out of your refrigerator. Ding! All right. Now we're going to head back out. We're going to go up after you. We have the laundry room immediately to the right. And then we have a, a full office. This one, the other one, they like two offices. This couple like two offices. So one put an office in the bedroom, but this is the real office. And it also can be a bedroom. But again, notice the ceilings. Notice the niches. They all have lights. Everything is very, very well situated and very well organized. Everything flows. The house has a nice grand uh, in and out. And then if we go straight ahead, this is where you would probably come in. I don't know if you have your groceries and so on because it goes into the kitchen, but look at the size. Whoops, let's move away from the car. But here's one car and here's a room for another car. It's a giant garage with an automatic garage door opener. And again, a creative ceiling with the tejas, the beautiful tejas. And we wrap ourselves back toward the front of the house and this is where we would enter from the street which we remember is called Linda Vista. We come down the stairs, we have this gorgeous entry. That's where your guests enter your front house. Right there. Really, it's really, really simple. And guess what, we've only seen half of it. That's right, this is only half of the house. So come on, we're gonna come back through. We're hopping down a few stairs. This is where we started with the fountain. And uh, I want you to just stop and look over there at that beautiful bear that's made out of uh, uh, it's a, an art piece from home. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to head through the house, back to the dining room area. Taking a look again, just kind of give everyone a good pass through of all this beauty that comes with this house. And now we pass this dining room. So this dining room table, this can see eight easily. And now we're going to work our way down the stairs, and I'm going to actually let Orlando go first so that it's less me and more this. Okay, 
this. If you'll stop for just one second and see the garden, look to the, to the right, all the way back. It's got a beautiful garden space. Great. And now we head back up. down on this level with the backyard, which is that lot that I think you need to buy too. And this is a, this could be anything, ping pong table, um, uh, your art studio where you cut glass and make mosaics. It's a giant room, but it also leads into another bedroom and bathroom. So, come on. I love this color, I love this color. This is my color, it's a great color. So this room opens, oh, look at those clouds. Look at this day, this is what we live with days. It's August, August 20 something, end of the month. We're almost into September and it's stunning. And our weather is what, 72 degrees, August? Where else do you live that the weather is 72 degrees in August? So it's a beautiful big room, it's got lovely colors. You step this way and you're into the bathroom that goes with this room. And the shop, it's everything. So your guest can come in the private door. Your guest doesn't need to even come to the house because this wraps around the side of the house. They park in the garage. They come down the sidewalk. Here they are. They have their own backyard. They have their own outside terrace. They don't even have to come up to your inside terrace, which means this is very rentable on Airbnb. And if you put that pool in and did a few little doodah days, honey, you've got a mansion an absolute mansion. So again, I welcome you to Vista del Lago, here a little bit outside of town in the north, that you would not be unhappy. So why don't you just book that flight, come on down and visit me, Linda Fossey, at Biencom Real Estate. Hey, thanks for watching.